my dear students i am from mithena from angela komal academy uh, last time we have studied present indefinite now uh, we are uh, studying past indefinite before starting uh, this topic first of all we will talk about that why we use past indefinite past indefinite indicates any action that is just completed or just happened uh remember one thing that uh, we uh, talk about that action uh, which are uh, completed just now not 2 uh, years back 3 years back means a week ago 2 days back 3 days back means a very short time period uh, uh, we are talking about if we talk about the structure so uh, we are discussing here affirmative negative interrogative double interrogative in affirmative it's very simple it's uh, uh, ne- it's neither uh, negative nor interrogative so the simple structure is subject was second form and object where remember one thing uh, which i have uh, told you in present indefinite that we will only use uh, first form was first form but here you have to remember this point as well that only in affirmative we will use second form of verb but in negative interrogative double interrogative we will use first form what is the reason behind this i will explain now let's see the negative structure subject plus there plus not plus verb first form plus object okay now i am telling you the reason so we focus because this is the most important thing uh, which uh, most of the teacher uh, will never tell you uh, the rule is that to, uh, when we use the subject after that we will use the second form of verb it is the rule of the past indefinite uh, it is the rule of past indefinite that to, after the subject you have to use verb second form but what uh, is happening here that we are using first form of verb so we are not violating the rule we are following same rule because uh, if we see did so did is the second form of do do did second form so we are not violating the rule here we are following the rule so uh, did is the second form of do and did and do is also the verb so when we have used uh, uh, second form of verb one time so after that uh, we will use only first form of verb neither uh, second form nor third form so i hope you have understand this reason uh, here the next is the interrogative in interrogative we know that we use helping verb uh, uh, first did plus subject plus verb first form plus object plus question mark is mandatory if you are uh, forgetting to first uh, question mark so uh, you are detecting your mark so uh, did we have use in the interrogative structure so that is why uh, here we are using first form i have told uh, i have talk about the reason now then is a double interrogative now this is not a new thing for you we all know that double interrogative means the question starts with wh family and wh family have the following words like what why where which whom who so after that we will use did then subject then verb first form plus object and question mark is necessary we all know that why we are using here first form if this is a past indefinite and in past indefinite to, uh, we must have to use second form of verb and here we are using did as a second form of verb so it we will not to uh, use other verb as a second form i hope you have understand this now take the examples of the affirmative it's a very simple he forgets his son he is a subject forget is a second form of verb his son is the object i watched movie with my family uh, remember that uh, we are talking about the action that has just happened 
not uh, uh, two years back, three years back. That has just he forgets his son means a uh, few days back, uh, about few days back we are talking about. So he forgets his son. I watched movie with my family. You came late. Examples of negative. Farhan didn't buy that house. My friend didn't get job. So here we are using negative structure. Farhan is a subject. Didn't. Uh, is a part of the structure and by here we are not using the second form of by that is the about we are using the first form by that house my friend didn't get job take the examples of interrogative did we invite them see i have uh, uh, put it uh, i put it here question mark did we invite them did seema is called her student did you know her so here we are starting the sentence with did and after that we have uh, used subject then verb first form and then object. Examples of double interrogative. What did you plan for birthday? How did you console him? Console, console means when we give uh, hope in the bad times to someone. How did you console him? Why did Amma choose this wallpaper? So here, uh, make sure that you follow the proper structure because most of the students make, make mistakes here. For example, uh, the correct sentence is uh, see the question, see the uh, example number one. Uh, what did you plan for birthday? What the students make mistakes? What you plan for birthday? They forgot to put dead here. They forgot to use dead here. So what did make mistakes? what you plan for birthday but the correct sentence is what did you plan for birthday so i hope you will remember this next is uh, as usual activity but this activity is not of the 10 marks it's, it is of 20 marks next sentences with giving works five affirmative five negative five interrogative five double interrogative sentence here I have given you the words 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. 5 words I have given you. First of all, put the heading by and make 5 interrogative, 5 double interrogative, 5 affirmative, 5 negative sentence. And same as with the others words. So, uh, here uh, lecture number 2 and I hope you have understood the past indefinite. If you have any query, you can ask me in the group. And to make sure you can, uh, you may submit to uh, this assignment uh, uh, at my assigned time. I will tell you the time in the group. Thank you.